Um, but Mike's been doing uh, real well this week. He's been competing, so we, he could very easily be Mike Matulis Saturday. Mike started that one game and then yeah. fell out of the rotation for a while. What happened? Did he fell out, and what is he doing better to get back in? Hey, you know, as a true freshman, you come in, and I don't know if you have the maturity to go in there and be successful early on. Some do, very, very few do. Uh, I told him, I just said, hey, you got to, if you want to get back in this rotation, you got to buckle down and you got to fight your butt off and you got to show me the importance of wanting to be in there on Saturdays. And uh, he's done a great job. I mean, he's done a great job. Uh, he's going to go in there, he's going to give us everything he's got. Same as Cody, you know, that both those guys compete. It's not that, you know, it's not that uh, they're just at some point not ready to get in there. But uh, we feel good uh, going in with either one of them right now, so we'll see how it plays out next couple days. Sean, why do you think that A.J. not an option to put him over a right tackle on a more permanent basis? Well, I just looked at A.J. and, and I made him, I, let me just say this, I made a mistake in moving A.J. to right tackle during, during the football game. Uh, I made two positions where I thought uh, we could help us on the edge and putting A.J. there, but here's a guy that had very limited practice experience at that position in, a, in an environment where he really couldn't uh, hear the snap count, so he had to the ball, and that guy just beat him off the edge, and he, and he plays his tail off, and he fights his butt off. I put him in a situation not to be successful, and that was all on me on Saturday. Those guys, they, they do everything I ask of them, and A.J. went right out there right tackle, and he fought his butt off. It wasn't his fault. That was, that was totally my, my responsibility. Do you think about, you know, this week, you're going to play, obviously, a young guy at right tackle no matter what. You're going to give some help over on that side with put some extra body. Right we in. sure are. You, there's going to be about, uh, how many people are going to have? About 85,000 here Saturday. That's how much help we're going to need. They're all, they're all going to be behind that right tackle Saturday uh, at 12 o'clock. So that's, that's the help we need. Yeah, we're going to have some backs and some other guys in there. But I'm telling you, just we need a, we need a, we need a festive, energized atmosphere. I wanted to be as hard on those guys coming in here as, as it was on him for the Arkansas game and, and, and all of us out there. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have some help. As you worked with Cody this week after, after last week where, um, you know, he was, he was spotty at times, obviously, what are your kind of teaching points when you only have a few days to get him ready for a, a huge game? Obviously, you've got to work on the most important things. Well, what are those for him? The most important thing is, is the explosiveness off the football and that's it. Uh, sometimes when you can – when you're a little bit hesitant driving off the football, especially when you're in a, in a uh, I, I say going on a ball sequence where, you, where you're, you're going off the foot, you don't have a cadence because of the crowd noise and everything. He's got to progress the ball, so that puts makes me a little hesitant. Just doing that a little bit more, moving him up on the line of scrimmage a little bit more, so he progress the ball. We've got to drive off the football. That's what we've got to work. Coach, uh, Tennessee, Arkansas, different talent, different teams. But it seemed like the offensive line took a step back from last week, the previous week. Was it a assessment thing? Took a step backwards last week? Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, you can say that, certainly. I mean, I, I put the loss on, uh, on the offensive line. We didn't play very well. We didn't come out there and execute. Uh, sure, anytime you go out there and you play your next ball game, you don't play very well, you, you take a step backwards. But we're not focused on last week. We're focused on the Florida Gators. We're focused on coming out here and practicing really well like we've done this week. And I tell you what, a great game out there on Saturday sure going to make us feel a lot better than last Saturday. And uh, we're keeping fighting forward. I mean, I, you know, I told them on Monday, I said, it would be real easy for me to come in here and just, uh, you know, raise hell to all you guys and tell you how bad we are. I'm, I'm bad as a coach and all that stuff. But I said, we got a, we got a great opportunity to go out there on Saturday, 12 o'clock. Who knows what might happen? But we we got to go win a football game. So we're going to fight our tails off in practice this week and see what happens. And we're going to lay it all out there. Hey, well, all I know one thing is they're going to put their best effort out there Saturday. And they put their best effort out there last Saturday, and they do it every week. I haven't, I haven't had a problem with any effort uh, whatsoever. So uh, we're going to be focused, we're going to be ready, but we're going to take a step forward this week. Yeah. Coach Spurs, think y'all were thinking about using yeah. some of the pistol this week. Is that news to you guys? Um, we, we've got it in our our package. If we want to use it, uh, we can use it some. We, I mean, that's not what, a big thing. What does it open up in the run game? that the shotgun doesn't. Uh, I mean, there's no difference. No, the only thing that opens up run games is blocking. I mean, right. You know. But there, there are no, you can't call, you call the same plays out of the shotgun as Certainly. you do in pistol Certainly in terms of run games. Yes. Yes. Did, you guys obviously knew Kyle's injury was going to be very significant. Sure. Did you think the ripple effects would be significant? Significant uh, in the sense that we've lost one game since this, or we lost the Auburn game and then, you know, when you take a senior, He's played so many games that he had about 16, 17 starts under his belt. And then you move into a, a freshman or a redshirt freshman. You tell me. I mean, I think we knew we had some growing pains, but, uh, you know, we knew they were going to come. you got to make adjustments. you got to you 
got to play who you play who you've got. And you've got to coach those guys hard. So you know you can't sit around and say, "Well, we don't have uh, we don't have this, we don't have that." You can't you can't make a story out of that. You got to go coach the guys you got, get those guys prepared to play. You can't worry about that stuff. You mentioned Cody Smith and What about Mike? You had a chance to see as much of him in the game setting, but when you look at him and work with him this week, what what are some areas where he? Mike's got strength. He's got lower body strength. Uh, he, he's He's, uh, you know, he's about 287, 290 pounds, so he's a bigger guy. And, uh, he's just, uh, at, at this point, I think he's just competes. He, he really competes. And, and I don't know, he may go out there and fall on his face right now. I don't think he will. I think he's going to fight and play real hard. And uh, I'm just anxious to see him and get a second chance to go out there and do something. Thanks, man. I yes, appreciate sir. it. Thanks, Thanks, you. Around, right? yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. I